Thomas? My name's Polly! Polly the Puppet! And I'm Craig, Craig the Construction Worker, and we're here to teach you about calculus with the help of... Me, Tina Fey! Today's lessons are tangent lines and the correct usage of the first derivative test! Does anyone know what a tangent line is? Yes, Marcus? Exactly! Good for you! That is good. Thanks for that, Tina. I believe you have a wonderful presentation of just that. Right, Craig? Right! I got it, I got it! A man here is riding on the surf. We set f of x as the curve of the wave. Observe the slope of the surfboard. The trace of the slope is the derivative of f of x. So, uh, what happens when the slope of the tangent is equal to zero? I'm glad you brought that up, Polly, because that brings us to our next lesson. Oh, you mean maximums and minimums? Yeah, let's cover that. Caroline, is that a cell phone? If you don't put that away right now, I'm going to personally take it and throw it out the window. No, no, I don't give a hoot. Put it away. Thank you. So where was I? I know. We were about to explain the first derivative test before you were rudely interrupted. Right. All right, everyone take out your calculators. Calculator. I'm going to show you a really cool trick. Let's say we have a function x squared plus 4x. And when we graph that, we get the curve. But if we want to find the derivative at the point x equals 2, we hit second, calc, dy dx. 2 equals 8. That sounds useful. It probably would have saved me from getting a 2 on my AP test. Don't cry. It's okay. Jealous, Miss Mandel? So, anyways, to find the maximum and minimum of a function, all you need to use is the first derivative test. Right! The first derivative test uses... Wait! I got this! <coughs> The first derivative test uses the first derivative of a function to determine whether a given critical point is a local maximum, a local minimum, or neither. Wow, Tina! That's actually correct! A critical point is when the derivative of a function is equal to zero or undefined. Can't forget that! Yes, Bobby? Do you have something to add to the lesson? In this case, you get a positive. 
if you look over here, it's a drawing of what this graph would look like. It goes increasing to negative 3, decreasing to 1, and increasing further. You plug in negative 3 and 1 into the original equation, which has been knocked down, and, and then you find out the points. From the drawing, you are able to see that at x equals negative 3, there's a maximum, and at x equals 1, there's a minimum. So then, you take negative 3 and 1 and plug it back into the original equation and to see what the points are of the actual maximum and minimum. When you plug in negative 3, you get 14, so you know the maximum is at negative 3, 14. And when you plug in 1, you get negative 18. So you know the minimum is 1, negative 18. Booyah! Okay, so I'm with you so far, but what do you do when the function is always increasing or always decreasing? I have an answer for that. Here we go. We got an equation here. x cubed minus 9x squared plus 27x minus 69. And you take the derivative, you get 3x squared minus 18x plus 27. And you can take the 3 out, well, that's easy. And you get the x squared minus 6x plus 9. And factored, you get uh, x minus 3 times x minus 3. That x equals 3. Yeah, got that. And you take that and put it on a number line. And you pick a number lower than that, and you try to see what it equals in the derivative. And what you get is a positive number right here. And you get the same thing if you pick a number bigger than 3, and another positive right there. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's not good. Well, let's look at it from a different angle. And poof! I'm over here. Surprise! Uh, so anyway, we have the graph here, and you can see it's increasing. And even through the critical point, 327. That's still increasing on the other side, too. Oh, this means that there's no minimum or no maximum. Oh, you know what they say? All maximums and minimums are critical points. But not all critical points are maximums or minimums. Booyah! So, uh, this example behind us is an example of a monotonic function. Monotonic is when the equation is always increasing. Whoop! Always decreasing! Ew! Well, that's pretty cool! Chest bump! In conclusion, when finding the minimum and maximums of a function, he used the first derivative test. Right! Goodbye, class! Oh, and I'd like to end on this. That person over there, and if she's not over there, then you know who you are. You are one amazing teacher. Keep up the good work. You are my idol. Thank you. Peekaboo! Evan, I see you. Until the rest of the class, goodbye and thanks for coming. Have a nice day.